Hi guys and welcome back to Denise Beauty Corner. Here is the channel where I am gonna share all my beauty secrets with you guys and today it's part six of my declutter and today it's I think it's powders. It's the declutter of the powders. So I here I'm gonna go through my collection of all my setting powders. It's gonna be loose powders, it's gonna be translucent, it's gonna be pressed powders, it's gonna be all my powders that I have. And I'm gonna do a little declutter, so the ones I don't like, I'm gonna get rid of. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do like these declutter videos, please give it a thumbs up so I know if you do enjoy it. And if you do have any suggestions of something you want me to film in the future, please make a comment down below and I will try to do whatever you guys want me to do. I'm, go I'm not gonna leave you hanging, so let's jump right into the video and start my declutter. So here is all of my setting powders. I have not included the ones that I have in uh, like palettes and things like that. So I'm quickly gonna go through which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm gonna declutter. Starting off with my favorite at the moment is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. This one is my ride or die. I bought this when I went to Miami and I wish I would have bought more backups but I didn't. So it's the Goodbye Photo Flash. I love this one. This one is in natural beige and I also bought it in tan beige so it's a little bit darker. And I use this all the time to set my under eye area with and I totally love it. And it's like six dollars each, so it's totally the best. Um, this is my Inglot translucent loose powder. It says translucent, but it looks more like a banana powder. Um, I don't have so much left in this one, but I'm not gonna end it up. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't like it so much. So I had this before. I had so many other powders that I prefer. So gonna get rid of this. Next up is IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I got these when I went to Miami, as <laughs> most of my makeup. So, uh, I have just tried this once or twice, I think. I have heard so many YouTubers rave about this, that's why I could not wait to get my hands on it when I went to the States. So I'm gonna try it out a little bit more, I don't have any opinion on it at at the moment I have to try it more to say to give it like a review what I think about it. Next up is my Makeup Studio Professional Makeup and this is a translucent powder. I still have like half of it left. This was the first translucent powder I ever bought. I bought this when I bought my first ever cream contour kit. And I like this one. It's a little bit drying if I use it all over my face but it's perfect for me to bake with and on spot areas like under my eyes. This one is perfect. It's not too light. It doesn't give any flashback or anything. So I do like this one and uh, it has been lasting a long time. So I really enjoy this one and I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this specific one when I run out. But I'm definitely going to use it up. And then I have so many other powders. So I'm not going to repurchase this one. But I'm going to use it up at least. Next up is, I have two Ben Nye powders. One is the Luxurious Banana Powder, which was like a huge hype. Kim Kardashian told everyone she was using this one. I like this one. On my skin, when I'm pale, this one is a little bit dark because it's like the banana shade. But I like to have this in my collection if I'm doing makeup on someone with darker skin or if I am super tan this one is very flattering so I'm gonna keep this one. And the same goes with my Ben Nye the colorless loose powder and it's very comparable to the uh, RMC uh, powder that everyone is raving about but I don't have that one at the moment because it's very hard to get your hands on it if you're living in Sweden. The, this one is very good and I like this one I can set my whole face with, it doesn't give any flashback, it doesn't give any white cast. So it's very affordable, I think I paid like 12, 12 pounds for this, I bought it in England and that's like 15 dollars or something. So it's very affordable and it lasts you a long time because it's a lot of product in here. Okay, this Marc Jacobs 
translucent pressed powder. I'm sorry for the lightning, but the sun is going down, so I think the lightning is going a little bit crazy. I'm sorry for that. This pressed powder is translucent. Um, I bought this because they told me at Sephora that this is the best pressed powder in translucent. Um, I have to disagree because I have given this a try and you really have to I really have to go hard to even get something on my finger and I don't know I don't like this product and I'm gonna give it away because I never use it and I have been trying to get it to work but I cannot get it to work it doesn't work the way I want and nothing is happening when I try to dig my brush in there so this one is going um, my e.l.f. translucent pressed powder. I don't like that it's a humongous package for this little, like it's not so much product in there. But I do like the product so I'm gonna keep this. I've used it as you can see a lot so it's like half of the product left. A very good product for the price so I think I might repurchase this one if I run out of I have two Laura Mercier. This one is the regular translucent powder and this one is the secret brightening powder. I bought the translucent powder in the small travel size before I went because I wanted to try it out before I went for the big size. Honestly, I don't see why everyone is raving so much about this. I I I don't I don't see it because it's a good powder, but it's not like it changed my life. So Oh, I forgot I have I forgot I also have this La Mer powder. I'm going to include it here. Sorry. So, but I'm going to keep both of the Laura Mercier ones because I got it in Miami and I haven't tried them so much yet, so I cannot say so much. I found out that the everyone in, on YouTube says that it doesn't dry your under eye area out but on me it tends to dry it out a little bit so I, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more and see if it's something with the concealer I use or if it's the powder but I'm gonna keep it for now and I brought out my La Mer powder I forgot I had it or no I don't forgot I had it but it's on another I have a special area in my makeup collection where I have my La Mer product this one, I like this powder, but I think it's so overpriced, so I will not repurchase this one when I run out. This one, this baby is like... I paid 60 euros for this, but I know in the States it's like 90 dollars, so it's more expensive in the, in the States. And uh, I like it, but I'm not going to repurchase it, because it's not like... For that price tag, it should be like amazing and it's not it's just another powder with a little bit of shimmer but not shimmer it's more like some glow but I'm not gonna repurchase this but I do like it and I'm do I am gonna keep it because it's like gold in a bottle moving on here is another pressed powder and this one is from the Spanish brand that I told you guys about you can buy it at Mercadona, it's called Deli Plus, I don't know how to pronounce it right. But this is a very good powder to use overall, it, do add, it does add some color to your foundation. So if you want to add some more coverage and color, this one is very good. It is 6 euros, so it's super affordable and I'm definitely going to keep this one. Next up I have two of the Bare Minerals Wheel. And it's both in the same color and um, I don't like this so much but I'm I am gonna keep the small size because I don't have so much in it so I don't I don't want to waste it and throw it away and it's nothing to give to anyone because it's just a little dust in there but I am gonna use this one up I am gonna get rid of the bigger size because I have more product in here but I don't see the purpose of this. I don't know. I, I, I'm not so much into the Bare Minerals as a brand. I don't like their eyeshadows. I'm not so into their face products. I, I don't know. I'm not so much into the Bare Minerals. Maybe I'm crazy because I know everyone is loving the Bare Minerals. But I don't know. I'm going to give it away. Same goes with the Bella Pierre. It's also a mineral 
powder. This is a banana setting powder, a loose powder in a very small size. I'm gonna be honest, I have never used it, but I am not so into the mineral products. I don't know why. I think I am the only one, but I think I am gonna keep this one to try it out, but I think it might go in my next declutter. The Wet n Wild, this is the mattifying, pure mattifying anti-brilliant take on the day, I don't know. And I have used it like once or twice, so I think I'm gonna keep it just to try it out a little bit more. But um, I don't like that the packaging is so bulky, but I'm gonna try it a little bit more. The, the Balm Sexy Mama setting powder. This tends to be translucent, but I think that it gives you a little bit of color. I don't think that this one is completely translucent. It does give you a brightening effect underneath your eye area and that is how I like to use it. So I'm gonna keep this one and it's very convenient to travel with because it's very sleek. So I am gonna keep this one. The last one is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder, not foundation, but the powder. They have the powder foundation and that was the one I thought I was buying. But this is the, not the powder foundation, this is the actually powder. And I don't like this one so much, but I do use it. And since I paid so much for it, I am going to use it up, but I don't going to repurchase this one. I think if I'm going to repurchase, I'm going to purchase the one that is the actually Giorgio Armani Silk Pressed Foundation Powder, so not the powder powder. So I am going to keep this one for now, but not going to repurchase. So I didn't get rid of so many powders. It's just the three of those that I am going to get rid of. So it's the Marc Jacobs Translucent Powder, the Inglot banana powder. No, the Inglot translucent, but it looks like a banana. And the mineral wheel from Bare Minerals. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!